friends. Um, today we have my very first unboxing for everybody. Um, I ordered a new bag, a new sleeping bag from REI. Got my REI co-op box here. Walked outside, get excited. And I'm really excited to open it. Um, I've been using just a Coleman. Uh, I think I got it at Target. And it's done me so well, but we're getting ready for a big trip. We're gonna be backpacking, and so we needed a new bag. So I'm gonna let you watch me unbox it. Got my dressy knife here. Ah. All right. It was on back order, so. So excited when it came in. Look at this thing. Whoa. So, this is. Oh, here we go. I love the REI co op brand. I have their fleece also. Um, it's been a great option for us. Uh, I was looking at the different Magma bags, they have really excellent ratings. And they're a really good thing for your buck. Here, here it is. It's kind of large. You might be thinking, how are you going to pack this for backpacking? <clears throat> but trust me, I'm going to show you. All right. Wow. It's got its own little stuff stack in here. <clears throat> Here's it all laid out. Okay. So it's a mummy bag. They actually have a long option and a regular option, which is great for you taller friends out there. I'm short, so maybe one day they'll have one for the tiny ones of us. For now, I think it'll be fine. I'll just roll up my fleece or my puffy if it's not too cold, and I'll put it at the base of my feet to get some more warmth. But I wanted to even show you, okay, so I've got this. It, um, it's rated for really cold weather, which is excellent. It goes down to 70 degrees is for comfort, and 3 degrees is the lowest it can go without risk, which is excellent. It's the Magma 15, is what I'm looking at here. <clears throat> it's very light. I can't find the, <laughs> the specs on how light, but just trust me, it's very light. We did our homework here. So this is my bag that I'll be using when we head to California in um, December. But I want to show you the other pieces I've got coming with me for my sleep system also. I used to use, this was when we first started camping, I used to use this um, Explorer ground pad. It's a field and stream, but as you can see, it's big, it's bulky, it's pretty heavy, it's over a pound. And it's supposed to like just pull in air and go up to about an inch and a half. Uh, I think it did that the first time, but never, never again. What do you think, never again? Yeah, anyway, it's very thin, um, but also bulky so you're not getting much comfort for the amount of weight you're carrying around. So recently we um, switched over to the Climate Static V. Should I open it? Yeah, I think so. My husband is filming this for me. <clears throat> so as you can see it gets very compact. I know a lot of people when I've looked at other people videoing that they actually skip the stuff sack. They just put a couple rubber bands around it and save you some ounces. So it unrolls. Here we go. I have to fold it in half and then in half again to get it really rolled up tight in there. And then this is one that you blow up, so you're going to inflate it yourself. Um, whenever I read the review, it said it'll take you about 10 puffs, but I have always found it takes me more. Maybe I'm, I'm not as long-winded as we thought, huh? Less air? No? So anyway, um, should I go ahead and blow it up? No, I'm not going to. But this is what it looks like out. It's very comfortable. It gets very thick and really makes a huge difference. Under that, though, since it's going to be quite cold, we've also got this. <clears throat> this is a Nemo switchback. It's got like that kind of egg carton look to it. It's very soft, 
and it's got this reflective layer to insulate you from the cold while also giving you this. So this will be on the bottom, then we've got our climate, and then we've got our bag here. So this is my sleep system. I'm currently on the mark in the market for uh, a blow up pillow as well, but I haven't decided if I really want a pillow or if I'm just gonna roll up a sweatshirt and sleep on it. <clears throat> yeah, so when we're packing it all down, this packs up very tightly. I already showed you how small this one goes, but this bag, oh yeah, oh yeah, this. I forgot about, I forgot about this. This is also <clears throat> a liner that goes inside your bag to keep you extra warm just in case you're gonna be in very frigid temperatures and possibly receiving some snow, which we will be. So that's great. Actually, you know, Yosemite, that's where we're going, just got like eight feet of snow not that long ago. So we wanna make sure that we are very warm just in case that occurs again. Okay, so then getting the bag in, I've got this Sea to Summit compression sack. Now just like a regular stuff sack is nice, which it comes with one of those, but the compression sack will really make sure to <clears throat> save you space and save you weight and get it nice and small there. I'm not gonna pull it all out and shove it all in right now, but just know this is a great sack. My husband has this same one in a different color. I refused to get the same color so that we would have our own thing. I also refused to get, they had like orange. It's not my thing. I'm more of a blue, green, gray person. Anyway, so here it is. So you have my sleep system, this is how we are going to go backpacking in Yosemite. I hope you enjoy. Thanks.